Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, New Low Voltage Mosquito Repellent System Presents New Revenue Opportunity. This webinar is brought to you by our sponsor, Newtone. I'm Kelly Limpert from North Coast Media, and I will be your event manager today. Before we begin, I'm going to go over some more. ways that you can participate during today's presentation. Although you are currently in a listen-only mode, we encourage you to ask questions throughout the presentation. Just type in the Q&A box at the bottom left, then click Submit to place your question in queue. You can also submit questions via Twitter by using the hashtag LMWebinar. Questions that were submitted during registration have already gone to our speakers and may be answered in this webinar. If you experience any technical difficulties during today's event, Use the same text box at the bottom left to tell us about your issue, and Assistant Producer Bethany Chambers or I will personally assist you. Finally, a recording of this webinar will be available tomorrow afternoon at landscapemanagement.net slash webinars. A link to the on-demand recording will also be emailed to you when it is available. If you have colleagues who couldn't make it today and you'd like to share this webinar with them, you can also do so at any time via the social media links on your screen. Now, I'd like to turn today's event over to our moderator, Landscape Management Editor-in-Chief, Marisa Palmieri. Thank you, Kelly, and welcome to all the attendees. We appreciate you being here. I'm looking forward to a great presentation today. Uh, we have Mike Long and Tom Daniel from New Tone here to present um, today. Mike Long is a marketing manager at Brown New Tone. And he led the product development of Newtone Haven Backyard Lighting and Mosquito Repellent System since 2011. He's also held marketing management roles at Milwaukee Electric Tool Corp and Kohler Company over the past 20 years. Tom Daniel is National Sales Manager for Newtone Haven, and he has spent his career developing new markets and sales organizations for leading manufacturers, including Brown Newtone, Hewlett Packard, and General Electric. Tom travels extensively from his home in Phoenix. So with that, I will turn it over to Mike and Tom to get started. Thank you. Thanks, Marisa. Uh, this is Mike Long. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Um, we're going to talk about New Tone Haven today and uh, get you all up to speed on why this is a great business opportunity for, for all of you. Um, we'll start with a testimonial video that um, covers some, uh, gives you some feedback from some of our field test participants in the New Tone Haven system. And then we'll talk about both the mosquito repellent and landscape lighting categories, uh, get into a deep dive on New Tone Haven and how it works and uh, what makes it work and how effective it is. Uh, and then we'll do some Q&A at the end. So uh, I'd like to start with the video. This is um, some feedback we received from the people who tested Newtone Haven during its development. My wife and I are able to come out in the evenings and actually enjoy the backyard. <laughs> it's so peaceful to come home and just hang out with my family. It's given us the outdoors back. Nobody likes mosquitoes. If it'll work in my yard, it'll work in anybody's yard. We do a lot of entertaining, a lot of grilling and cookouts, but we couldn't enjoy the beautiful space we had because of the mosquitoes. Bug zappers, citronella candles, I've tried it all over the years, but I'm always open to try a new product to enjoy my backyard and not have to worry about mosquitoes. Brawl Newtone is one of the companies that we carry in our store. When they came out with the Haven lights, I was able to install them and see if they worked in our backyard to give us more enjoyable outdoor living space. You're always a little bit skeptical of new products. And about that time, my son asked if they could have the wedding in the backyard. So I knew it was going to be a, a real test for it. The four fixtures covered not only the deck, but actually out into the yard. Haven proved to keep mosquitoes away. It works extremely well. We've seen our neighbors spraying their yards to get rid of mosquitoes. With having a five-year-old, I just really didn't want to do that. With Haven, we like that it's kind of invisible protection from mosquitoes. Haven really works. It was really easy to install, and it's wonderful to be outside and not have to worry about mosquitoes. I have mine on a timer. You don't have to think about using it, it just comes on by itself. 
Since I've installed the Haven system, I don't have to deal with the hassle of mosquitoes on my deck anymore. This will be our first full year of having our Haven system that will allow us to enjoy the whole season before you have to replace any of the canisters. And it just makes it so beautiful to have impromptu times in the backyard and enjoy time together. I put a lot of time and effort in my backyard, but I wasn't able to use it for so many years because of all the mosquitoes. And now I feel as though this product has taken it back for so me. So right on. It seems almost too good to be true, but before Haven, we weren't able to use our patio because of mosquitoes, and now we can use it all the time. So that gives you a nice overview of uh, some feedback from users of the system. Um, really what Newtone Haven promises is convenient, effective, season-long protection from biting mosquitoes. Uh, you don't have the hassles of some of the existing types of uh, mosquito repellent products that are on the market today. Each fixture emits an odorless, silent, and invisible vapor that repels mosquitoes for about 110 square feet. They are easy to install. They come in black or bronze finishes, and there's uh, two different types of fixtures, as you see here, the repellent fixture on the left or the path garden light and repellent fixture on the right. The whole product line is pictured right here. There's the, um, the backyard light and mosquito repellent fixture, the repellent only fixture. We have an optional timer controller, uh, an optional deck or post mounting flange, and then the repellent refills. And that really makes up the whole, the whole Haven line. So talking about the mosquito repellent category, um, the mosquito repellent market is really large. Um, and obviously, uh, mosquitoes cover the whole, uh, the whole country with various, various species in different parts of the country. Um, but it is a really large market. and uh, the obvious reasons for people wanting to uh, repel mosquitoes are because of the diseases and uh, in addition to the <coughs> itchy bites, the, um, the diseases uh, that are out there are also pretty dangerous and of course Zika has been in the news quite a bit lately. As being a new disease that mosquitoes transmit and carry uh, that's beginning to impact the United States. So Zika is transmitted by two different types of mosquitoes that are found in the U.S., uh, Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Um, and this map shows where those two species are currently present in the United States. And, um, you know, the Zika virus hasn't made its way much past uh, Miami, as we understand today, but the mosquitoes that carry it um, do get up into the northern parts of the country and um, the Center for Disease Control believes it's really just a matter of time before these species that carry Zika, um, uh, th those that have the disease, find their way north and, and uh, begin to impact the rest of the country. The other um, opportunity for Newtone Haven is that uh, the current mosquito repellent products that are on the market today don't really satisfy people. Um, the red chunks of these bars indicate the uh, dissatisfied uh, customers of these various types of repellent products such as traps, candles, torches, zappers, or even yard sprays. So there's a, a pretty large um, dissatisfied consumer out there um, that is looking for uh, something to keep mosquitoes away and let them enjoy their backyards. And then the other category that we're participating in, of course, is the landscape lighting category. And this category is large and growing. It's about a $500 million market and growing at about 6% per year. And that's really riding the trend of um, homeowners and consumers sort of designing their outdoor living spaces and extending their uh, interior decorating and styling to the outside of their home. So um, patios and fire pits and those kind of uh, areas are continuing to be decorated and designed and landscape lighting is a big part of that. As you see seven out of ten homeowners uh, light their deck or patio today. And the Newtone brand has been around since uh, 1936 and 
Newtone Haven is a part of a suite of uh, Newtone products that are focused on home comfort and convenience. So everything from door chimes, which is where Newtone started, to ceiling fans, central vacuum systems, home automation products, and now Newtone Haven. So uh, as since we've launched Newtone Haven this past April, um, we've been generating a lot of publicity and even buzz with uh, about 106 million impressions generated from news coverage and in both consumer and trade publications, as well as uh, broadcast media placements. So the word is spreading that Newtone Haven is out there and is a, a way of protecting homeowners from biting mosquitoes. Let's talk about what makes Newtone Haven unique. What makes it unique to the market is that it's a new to the world product, a low voltage mosquito repellency system that provides convenient mosquito protection. Um, it can be set up to work automatically. It begins repelling mosquitoes within 15 minutes of turning it on. The repellent lasts for 90 days when it's used for about two and a half hours a day. So there's really, uh, it, it offers some new convenience that the repellent category has never had before. It's unique for you because you can introduce your customers to this new, new to the world product. Help them reclaim their patio or deck or pool area from biting mosquitoes. So hopefully, you know, you're, you're taking care of homeowners' landscapes today and making them beautiful <coughs> and inviting. And this product just gives you another way to um, let your homeowners enjoy their outdoor living spaces more. It also provides an important servicing opportunity because these repellent cartridges do need to be replaced once a season, and that gives you another uh, scheduled service call to make and uh, enjoy the re revenue of uh, repeat refill sales. And it's a unique product for your customer because it's providing effective, convenient, season-long mosquito protection um, and protection from those nasty diseases we talked about and lets them really enjoy the spaces that they've designed out in their backyards. So next I'm going to turn it over to Tom Daniel to tell you about how Newtone Haven works. Okay, thanks Mike. Um, first of all, as you know, there's two products that you see there. One is the fixture on the left, which does not have an LED light. The other is a diagram and the uh, look of what it actually is inside the lamp, they operate the same way. So what we described there inside the LED light works exactly the same way as the repellent fixture as it stands by itself. So if we went from left to right there, you see that the repellent vapor is actually heading out to the top of the lamp. And the vaporizer is actually a small ceramic piece that operates at about 170, 147 degrees um, in uh, Celsius. That's just under 300 degrees in Fahrenheit. So the product will be a little warm to touch, but it's not hot. The vaporizer is this wick fixture that you see in the top of the, uh, the cartridge there, and that's generally a piece, kind of a cellulose piece. And then you have the repellent cartridge itself. The bottom part is uh, a printed circuit board, and that serves as two different functions for for the purpose of the repellent itself. As you can see, it can handle a transformer line that voltage runs from about 10.7 to 18 volts. So the market today is either 12 or 15 for the most part for outdoor lighting. So it's it's right in the sweet spot of where most of the transformers are today. As you see on the right, the cartridge itself will last 216 hours and basically protects about 17 hours a week if you use it the way normal people would use their backyards and out there for a certain number of days during the week and a certain number of hours. And the nice part about this is it's effective within 15 minutes of operation. You basically turn it on, wait 15 minutes, and you start your mosquito protection. Okay. The light itself, as you can see, is, is um, 16 integrated LEDs and running about 40 lumens, 2900K. The, um, 
the, the, the cover itself is opaque. You really can't see the fixture inside that. It's a very hard polycarbonate lens, and it is UV resistant. So it more or less, uh, it, it doesn't glare in people's eyes so much as it does just reflect off of the shroud and provides a nice soft light. Um, the, as you mentioned, as we mentioned earlier, the cartridge will last 216 hours. In other words, you have enough fluid in there to, to use the fixture for about 216 hours. The printed circuit board on the bottom of the fixture serves two functions. One is it controls the flow of the current because we need a steady flow of current to operate the, uh, the, the ceramic piece to heat that up at the degree that we need it to be effective. The second is there's a timer in there for 195 hours. Now, there's a difference, as you can see, from 195 to 216, and the reason we do that is to give the user some time to refill the cartridge because what happens is that you have an active green light. When the light is solidly green, it shows that the system is working and the fluent is, is vaporizing. At the end of 195 hours, it will start blinking. It doesn't mean that the cartridge is empty. It means that it's time to get a new cartridge, and it gives the user some time, basically 21 using hours, uh, a chance to uh, call for service or put in the cartridge themselves. It's pretty simple. It's basically one that you um, uh, unscrew with a screwdriver. It latches open, and you can screw the cartridge into the, uh, the, the, the fixture itself. The timer is not a transformer. We get this question a lot. It is not a transformer. This is an interrupt on the line that allows you to set the hours, if you wish, on when the cartridge or when the fixture is activated. So basically, you can set up a, a schedule or you can manually use it and turn it off and on. We kind of look at it this way. If someone goes out to start their barbecue, it takes about 15 minutes of that to warm up. At the same time, they may choose to start their haven system as well, because that also takes about 15 minutes to warm up. And what you see here are a set of screws at the bottom of the, uh, of the device, and the, the two screws on the right are the incoming line from the transformer. The other two are separate circuits, the other, the, the other two pair. And so you can run your fixture off of one set, one circuit, and then you can run the light off the other circuit. The total amount of wattage that this can handle is 72 watts, 36 on each fixture, on, on each circuit. So the total number of light repellent fixtures you can put on that are four, and the total number of fixtures by themselves are eight. The fixtures run about close to nine watts each. The timer holds about 72 watts total. Okay, hang on here. Having difficulty advancing this, bear with me. No, I'm not able to advance it. Mike, I'll turn it back over to you. I'm having trouble advancing that. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Here we are. The other, the other options you have for mounting uh, the Haven fixture is with this flange. And the flange is used for, say, if you want to put it on a deck or maybe you want to put it on a retaining wall. It's uh, another way that you can um, have some flexibility on the, on the installation depending on the configuration of the backyard. Now we ship these with a stake and a stem and a cartridge. So you'll get a complete system to, um, uh, to, to build your haven and tie into any existing line if you like or run a new line out from a, from a different transformer. Okay, Mike, turn it over to you. Thanks, Tom. So on the repellent cartridges, as Tom just said, they do come with each fixture, and then there are uh, refills available. Each one provides about 216 hours of protection. There's 24 milliliters of repellent inside the uh, cartridge. Uh, the system uses about one milliliter every 10 hours, and so 24 milliliters you'd think would last 240 hours. But the EPA uh, only allowed us to claim 90% of the repellent as actually being effective, and they 
hypothesized that the last 10% of repellent in that bottle would be less effective because of the reduced contact with the wick. So we only claimed 216 hours of actual repellency. Um, so by that definition, you'd actually, you could change the cartridge out before it's actually dry um, if you chose to. The repellent usage will vary based on temperature and humidity, so warmer and drier climates may see increased use and um, lower humidity, or I'm sorry, higher humidity and cooler climates would uh, proportionally see less repellency used during that amount of time. The, um, the repellent cartridge will last about three years if it's stored at room temperature. The wick is made of a compressed wood powder um, and as far as disposal, you really should consult with a solid waste agency if there's any repellent that you have to dispose of, um, similar to, uh, you know, paint or paint thinner, that kind of thing. So the repellent active ingredient is 4% metafluthrin. The other 96% of the liquid in that uh, repellent cartridge is really just solvent that helps the repellent or helps this active ingredient disperse when it's on. Metafluthrin is an effective mosquito repellent that has undergone extensive uh, toxicology testing and evaluation and has been accepted for consumer use by the US EPA. So it is a registered pesticide and uh, metafluthrin has been used in mosquito repellent products throughout the United States since 2009, including products such as the off clip on mosquito repellent and off mosquito lamp. Uh, it's also been used throughout the world in a number of countries um, and is registered in the US for both indoor and outdoor use. So it's it's pretty widely used and, and um, manufactured by a large chemical company called Sumitomo. That's our supplier of metafluthrin. So the Registered pesticides are regulated by the US EPA and each and every 50 states. So the product has been registered in all 50 states as well as by the EPA. Um, it's not for sale outside the United States because the United States is really the only place it's currently registered. Um, some states do require licensing for pesticide applicators. so. You may want to check with your local state um, pesticide agency to find out if that's the case in your state. Um, when you're promoting Newton Haven, it's important that you use the product claims that are approved by the EPA, and those are used throughout our literature and our videos, and um, they're available on our website if you, if you want to uh, grab them as far as using, using them to advertise Haven to your customers. Um, the New Tone Haven product label and directions for use include all of the EPA required information regarding cautionary statements and warnings. Um, one of the most common questions we get asked is, is it safe? And uh, the short answer is really no, because it's, it's harmful if swallowed. So um, the directions for use and the EPA warning label does contain that cautionary statement that it's harmful if swallowed and it should be kept out of reach of children. Um, but that's really the only cautionary warning uh, of, of significance on the label. So um, we do have a FAQ sheet on our website that tries to address this issue for consumers to let them know that it is, when used as directed, um, you know, uh, a reasonable product to uh, repel mosquitoes. So just talking about some of the product specifics. Here's what the backyard light and repellent fixture looks like when it comes out of the box. There's um, the light fixture head. There's an 18-inch stem uh, that connects to it. And uh, we also include uh, cable connectors and adapters for 12 to 16 gauge cable. The repellent fixture similarly comes packed in a, in a tray, uh, has, has only a 12-inch stem for a little lower profile, a little closer to the ground uh, for installation. And of course, other products that are used in a Haven installation would be a low voltage transformer, as Tom said, 12 or 15 volt AC, UL listed. Um, low voltage cable, also UL listed uh, is our specification. 
um, 12 to 16 gauge. Uh, we recommend dielectric grease with our cable connectors. A lot of professionals prefer to use a pro-grade connector that already has um, dielectric grease in it. Um, and then there's also mechanical timers and other accessories you can use to enhance your system. Um, I missed a slide here. We had a slide on the product pricing. Here it is. Um, so Haven is priced uh, similarly to pro-grade landscape light fixtures. Um, our fixtures are made of cast aluminum, and uh, you can see the pricing for a light fixture. List price is $200. Repellent fixture is about $165. The repellent cartridges are um, priced around $200 for a set of four. That's the list price. We expect those to retail for somewhere around $140 for a set of four. And this just shows how our repellent value stacks up against some of the competitive alternatives. Um, here on the left would be a butane power device. Uh, that's going to run you about $512 to protect uh, 400 square feet for 216 hours. Um, Candle power device, that might be an off um, lantern, for instance. Looks like it would be about $574 for the uh, same amount of time to protect the 400 square foot area. A uh, battery power device could be an off clip on, down to about $325 for that season of protection. And then, of course, the Haven four pack of repellent fixtures retails around $140 and a heck of value compared to those alternatives. Plus, the convenience of not having to light candles or change out batteries and deal with that every time you want to go outside. So sort of to summarize here, the features and advantages of Haven, it's effective, um, 110 square foot area and four fixtures is all you need to protect a typical patio or deck. It's easy to install, uh, it's convenient to operate. And lastly, it lasts season long. One of those 24 milliliter cartridges is going to give you 90 days of protection so you don't have to mess with the, the hassles of alternative repellent products um, all season. Here are a couple ways a light fixture can be installed, either with a single transformer on the left, uh, using our timer controller to split that circuit, the circuit and run your lighting and repellent system separately. You can also operate them through one transformer and just have them the lights and the repellent system be on when it's powered up and off when it's powered off. Or you can set the lighting and repellent systems on their own transformers and control them that way. Same with the repellent fixture. Um, you can add it to a installed lighting system and use our timer and controller to split the power from the transformer. Or you can run them simultaneously or use separate transformers. So here's a typical 20 by 20 foot patio with four fixtures shown here protecting the, the patio area. You really want to create a perimeter of protection because mosquitoes are unlikely to fly over the barrier and come down into the center area that appears to be unprotected. Here's a schematic of a little more uh, larger patio space. And you can see basically the um, yellow circles there kind of highlight where the repellent fixtures are located and how that provides a perimeter of protection for the entire patio. And the repellent does protect um, a six foot radius away from the fixture and that's really in all directions. So um, the fixture comes on an 18 inch, the, the light fixture comes on an 18 inch stem um, the repellent fixture has a 12-inch stem. So from that fixture, it's got, the repellent is going to rise about six feet. That gets you up to about a height of seven to seven and a half feet, which is pretty much as tall as most of us are. And then it's also going to, uh, the repellent will extend out from radius of six feet in all directions. So even if you're putting it on an elevated deck, you'll get some protection below the deck even. As the repellent um, emits in all directions. So the question, does Haven really work? Um, you heard the testimonials of our field testers, but 
Um, also, we did have to do some testing for the EPA to document that it really does uh, repel mosquitoes. This shows some tents that we um, contracted to have set up in Thailand, and inside these tents, we set up uh, carbon dioxide traps, two of them at a distance of six feet from our fixture. And then we released 2,000 mosquitoes into that tent, waited a couple hours, and then counted how many mosquitoes actually found their way to the trap. And in a control tent where we didn't have our fixture operating, obviously 100% of the mosquitoes found their way to the traps. In the, in the tents where Haven fixtures were operating, only 7.5% of the mosquitoes found their way to the traps, uh, indicating 92.5% of the mosquitoes were actually repelled. So we did this test over six consecutive nights um, for each of three different species of mosquitoes. Uh, the EPA requires that you prove that you're effective against at least three different strains of mosquitoes that are found in the U.S. And so we did that, and on average, we repelled 92.5% of them. Um, and that uh, was good enough for the EPA to claim that we're effective. We also did numerous field test um, installations in both uh, Wisconsin and down in Florida and got some great results with, um, as you heard from some of the people at the beginning of that video, um, you know, it really lets people reclaim their backyard and uh, not be bothered by biting mosquitoes. Here are a couple of the field testers that you saw in the video. Um, Bob is an irrigation products distributor down in Florida, and Don is a lighting showroom owner also in Florida. Um, and they, they just had great results and uh, continue to enjoy the system and uh, are enthusiastic supporters as they sell it in their businesses. So wrapping up here, some key takeaways for you. Haven is an innovative new product with a large uh, opportunity and a very timely appeal. Um, a large opportunity because the market for outdoor living is expanding. Uh, biting mosquitoes are increasingly a threat and our uh, you know, homeowners are even more aware of them than ever because of the Zika being in the news. We know homeowners are unsatisfied with their current mosquito solutions. Um, this provides an innovative, effective, convenient, and season-long solution from biting mosquitoes. Repellent refills can uh, generate revenue for years as well as a, a reason to go back and see your customers every season. So hopefully that'll help you all turn your customers' backyards into a haven. I think that concludes the pre presentation. We'd like to open it up for questions and uh, welcome any that you have. Great. Thank you so much, Mike and Tom. Uh, we do have a number of questions from the audience, so I'm just going to kind of fire them off. Many of them are product specific. Um, so, Mike, I'll ask you, and if you would like Tom to answer them, then I'll let you uh, hand it off to him. Um, so first, first question, um, can you share what mosquito species you tested against? Did you test the Zika mosquitoes? Um, we did test against Aedes aegypti. Um, we also tested against um, Culex and Aedes albopictus. Um, I'm being told by my able body assistant here. So um, I think we did rep we did test against the two species that carry um, the Zika virus or are known to carry the Zika virus plus uh, Culex, which is a species that isn't known to carry Zika. Okay, great. Um, and some of these you might have covered, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to ask them anyway, since we have time and people asking these questions. Um, when adding to an existing light string, what is the wattage used per fixture with and without the LED? Sure, great question. So the repellent system, each, each fixture uses about 9 watts to power up the uh, repellent vaporizer. And then the LEDs use uh, just a little less than 2 watts. So um, the repellent only fixture is going to use 9 watts. And then the light and repellent fixture would use 11 watts. 
and that's two for the LEDs and nine for the uh, repellent vaporizer. Okay, great. Um, can you talk about distribution? If folks are interested, how do they obtain the products, and then how long does it take to get the products in hand? Sure. Um, we've got a number of distributors across the country. Um, uh, our website has a, a dealer lookup that you can find one close to your zip code. Um, Tom, I'm going to guess we've got about 30 green distributors uh, across the country with a couple hundred locations. That sound about right? Well, while Tom thinks about that, um, I think it is about 30 green distributors plus. Um, Newtone has already been in uh, electrical distribution for a number of years, so some of our electrical distributors that carry landscape lighting have also added Newtone Haven. They're also able to be found on our um, dealer look up at uh, newtone.com backslash haven. Yeah, we, we, we're signing, we, uh, we are adding distri distributors uh, every month, and right now, as Mike had indicated, we have close to 30 distrib very large distributors in the country that are carrying, uh, carrying the product today. And most okay, of them great. are inventorying the product, so it shouldn't take long to get it once you uh, connect with your distributor. Awesome. And any any um, plans to go into any of the big box stores so like a customer could go buy this themselves? Or is that not in the plan? Um, we'd love it to be customer in the plan. Customer being a homeowner, sorry. <laughs> sure. Um, no, we do have plans to add the product to homedepot.com and lowes.com. Um, it's a little over, actually it's a lot over the price point of the landscape lighting products that um, Home Depot and Lowe's are selling today. So initially, we think we're going to try it online. Um, we also have plans to add it to Amazon.com. Uh, our distributor, Build.com, already has Newtone Haven. Um, and I think you'll be seeing it on those other sites that I mentioned uh, within the next four to six weeks. OK. Uh, we have a question about the kit. How many feet of wire comes with the kit? Uh, that's a great question. So each fixture has a, about an 18-inch lead um, for connection to cable, but there is no cable sold with the product. So um, you'd need to be sourcing a transformer and the uh, amount of cable you need for your installation separately. It's not included with our product. Okay. Can Another question. Can we use both circuits for the repellent fixtures? Yes, you can use both circuits for the propellant circuits, and that's pretty much what we see that's becoming more common uh, with a lot of the green lighting contractors. So that relates to uh, using the timer, the timer controller to operate um, more than four fixtures, I think would be this, the case you're talking about, Tom, where four, fix, four repellent yeah, fixtures could be connected to one circuit and four connected to the other. Right. The, the, remember, on that timer, there's two separate circuits, and there's two different ways to control them. In other words, they have their own way. Each, each circuit has their own uh, mini timer in the timer, if you will. So you can set those up separately if you want, or have them tied together so they all come on to came so they all come on at the same time. And with the fixtures, you can put four on each of those circuits. Even though we might have a label that says lighting, that is the same uh, wattage as the other circuits. Uh, that says repellent. They both carry 36 watts each, total of 72, and our fixtures are roughly nine each, so you can do the math and come up with eight on the, on the timer. Right. Thank you. A couple questions and about the cartridges. Oh, sorry. Go ahead if you needed to continue. Uh, just one other thought on the timer controller. It also comes with a, a photoelectric cell so that uh, you can use the you can use dusk to turn on or turn off the system. Okay, great. Um, so with the cartridges, how does one know when to replace the cartridge? Well, so as, the, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead, Mike. They, they, uh, there's a timer that we build into the product that will start flashing after 195 hours of use. 
uh, they are not sequenced. That they're not. It's not measuring the the fluid. It's a, it's a a timer that goes on when the system turns on initially. And so it's counting down 195 hours. At the end of 195 hours, there's a small green light on the fixture or the lamp, the light that starts blinking. That then indicates the homeowner that it's time to replace the cartridge. Yes. Yeah, so it doesn't so really. It doesn't really tell you that you're you're um, definitely out of repellent. It's really letting you know that on average you're getting near the end of the repellent life. You should be thinking about getting some replacements, and then you'd actually have to open the fixture and look at the repellent cartridge and determine, you know, I'm down to the last the last eighth of an inch of repellent, and I'm going to switch it out. Or if you want to run that thing till it's bone dry and you start seeing mosquitoes on your patio, that's an option as well. Um, and if used sparingly, can the cartridges last over the winter or into the next season? In our experience, they they do last through the winter and work continue to work fine in the new season. Um, our directions for use recommend disposing of them at the end of the season, but the homeowner is free to do either. Okay, and so someone's asking if um, it's not too complicated to change the cartridge. All it takes is a screwdriver. Um, how do you recommend selling the service visits? Is it is that a difficult um, thing to do if the customer knows all they need to do is unscrew it? Um, from the landscape contractors I've talked to, it really depends on the customer. Um, some customers will be happy to to purchase the repellent themselves and go out and take a screwdriver and open the fixtures up and change it out. And others don't want to be bothered or don't want to have to, um, you know, step into the garden or the areas near the shrubs where those fixtures are installed and deal with it. So it's really kind of a customer specific uh, decision, I think. And um, just like some landscape contractors will go out and change out bulbs on their landscape fixtures or wipe them down and make them straight again and do some of that service work. Uh, it's pretty much this, it's an equivalent activity and some customers would love to pay somebody to do it for them and others would uh, think nothing of buying it and doing it themselves. Most of the, most of the uh, landscapers, that, sorry, most of the landscapers that I've talked to um, kind of feel like this would be part of their service for them. And so when they're out doing their general maintenance, as Mike just described, they would probably include that as part of their bid, as part of their description of work that they provide as a service. And so that's kind of the direction we believe it will go. Okay, great. Um, can you talk about the amount of time needed for a basic installation? Yeah, yeah well, it's, um, it, it, I'm sorry, Mike, go ahead. Um, about two to three hours is um, what we're seeing and hearing for a typical four, four or five fixture installation. You know, they install just like a landscape light fixture, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. How about... Um, with your testing that you've done with various companies, any um, experience or insight on the cost at, at what level um, installations are being sold to homeowners? How much contractors are charging for the installation service? Yes. Um, I heard most commonly around $100 a fixture is the labor charge that contractors use and that's that's from my conversations with the contractors here in the Midwest that's kind of what I see elsewhere that, that that's kind of the norm I believe that they, they kind of look at what their costs are and they come close to doubling it for the most part and about how long um, is the life expectancy of the system Newtone Haven comes with a three-year warranty, and we expect the fixtures to last between five and seven years. Um, the LED lights have, uh, I think, a seven-year life based on operating them eight hours a day for 
365 days a year, 30,000, you got to do the math, but they have a 30,000 hour life expectancy, um, and that's about what we expect the, the fixtures to last. Okay, a few more questions about sales and selling to the homeowner. Um, what would you say are the best selling points for a skeptical customer? Well, that it really works would be the first one because people are skeptical. They've heard of mosquito repellent solutions in the past and, you know, have been disappointed, as you saw from the charts of customer satisfaction. So um, there's nothing like a testimonial from a satisfied user that um, – to convince somebody that it really works. Um, and we've done a number of um, seeding programs throughout the country to get people to try it and experience it for themselves and become believers. Um, so once once you've experienced that or talked to someone who has it in their yard and can tell you how, how wonderfully it works, um, that's really the, the strongest testimonial. Um, the convenience would probably be the second thing because you don't have to mess with it. Um, you know, you can set it on a timer or just turn it on 15 minutes before you need to go outside, and and it doesn't get much easier than that. You, you don't have to go out and light candles and move them around and um, bring them in the house after the party's over. It's it's pretty much uh, worry-free. So effective, convenient, and the season-long benefit is just icing on the cake. You don't have to mess with it but once a year if you live in a you know, season where the or in a part of the climate, part of the country where the climate's about 90 days uh, between seasons. I might add that um, if you oh, go ahead. Sorry. Let me. Let, let, I'd like to add to something about the market in general, and that almost every treatment out there today that's not sold at the retail stores is provided in a spray or a fog or a mist. All of those have consequences for uh, one the other types of insects that are that are beneficial to us, and two, just the, the inconvenience of having to plan around those services and how effective they can be after, say, a big rain or things like that. So there's a lot of things that are out there that, that may or may not work. There's nothing as convenient as, as this. And I think if I, if, if I think Mike sums it up really well, number one, it, it, it truly works well, and two, there's no odor, there's no mess, there's no planning. You don't have to plan for this. In other words, we don't have to have the guy come in and spray before we have a big party. None of that. It's truly a convenient product. Okay, great. Are there any concerns with windy or breezy conditions? Um, I don't know about concerns. The directions for use do specify that um, the product is affected by wind. So as the vapor comes out of the fixture, it's going to travel wherever, whichever way the wind is blowing, really. Um, the, on the plus side of that, if there is any kind of significant wind activity, mosquitoes tend to be dormant or resting because they don't want to try and fight their way through that wind as they fly. So if you've got some windy conditions, you're not likely to be as bothered by mosquitoes as in a, on a still night or a calm night where there really aren't any winds or breezes, and that's when Haven's going to work well because, um, you know, if, if if the air is fairly still, then the vapor is going to um, disperse in that six-foot radius around the fixture and stay in that area. So uh, it's, you know, it's continuously released as long as the fixture is on. So the areas around the fixture should be protected when it's on and the winds are relatively calm. The wind picks up, the repellent vapor is going to go in the direction of the wind, and most likely so will the mosquitoes. Okay, great. Anything to add, Tom? Uh, n no, not really. No, that covered it well. And I think we are through all the questions, unless um, Mike or Tom, if you have any more points to add or anything, we can turn it back over to Kelly, who can um, close us out. No, I'd encourage everybody to visit the um, Newtone.com website and look at the Haven product videos. There's a number of videos there. There is the dealer locator to find out who's carrying it in your area. 
and uh, there's an installation video on there that walks you through the steps of installation. Um, so it, it is as simple as we described, and uh, we think it's a great product and has a lot of opportunity for uh, landscape contractors across the country. Great. Well, thank you both for the presentation today. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Marisa. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you all for attending today's webinar. If you'd like to download today's slides, click to open the green folder icon on the far right of the dock at the bottom of your screen. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact our presenters at the email addresses on your screen now. Links to their email addresses are in their bios as well. An on-demand recording of today's webinar will be emailed to you tomorrow afternoon and will be available online for a full year at landscapemanagement.net slash webinar. Thanks again. Have a good one.